Welcome back to the basement and a little addendum to my new turbo timber setup. I uh, forgot to include this because I didn't know I needed to. When I went to program the ESC in this airplane for reverse thrust, I found out that the ESC had not been updated uh, apparently in quite a while. They had a very old version of the firmware and it would not even come up on my transmitter when I scrolled over to where the ESC page should have been for programming. Wasn't there. So I went out and bought an ESC programmer, Avian, and I'm going to show you how to hook this up and uh, refresh or update the firmware in this 100 amp ESC that comes with this airplane. Uh, before you do this though, you should probably check your uh, transmitter to see if when you power this uh, airplane up, if you do in fact have that ESC programming page. If you do, obviously you don't need to do this, but this one came with no uh, programming ability off of the transmitter. So that uh, programmer is about a $30 item if I remember correctly. Unfortunately, uh, you uh, maybe you can borrow one from a friend. I don't know, but uh, it's probably going to be for me a one-time deal because uh, this transmitter of mine enables me to program an ESC right off the, right off the uh, transmitter. I don't need this uh, somewhat antiquated piece of equipment here to do that. This is, used to be the way you had to do it until they enabled it on the uh, NX-8 series. Or if you have an older transmitter, maybe some of the old DX stuff, it may not have that capability at all and you may need that module to, uh, to program an ESC, any ESC. So Without further ado, I'm going to show you all the equipment that was required and then hook it all up, show you how to do it. Now here's the equipment you're going to need to do this programming. You're going to need two cables, a male-to-male -male servo cable, which I bought a whole package of these sometimes back for a different application. You're going to need a female-to-female -female USB cable. And for me, I did this by getting a USB-A to USB-C adapter. And that plugs into the side of my PC, which doesn't even have USB-A ports on it. And the other end plugs into that uh, ESC programmer. Now the ESC programmer will be powered off of this USB cable, but we also need to power up the ESC. There's two options for that. One is you can plug a battery directly into the programmer, or you can power it up uh, with just a regular battery. This is an 1800 50C4S, but it doesn't matter. It's a 6S system, but any battery will power up the ESC. So we're going to connect all that up and show you how it looks when it's all connected. And then we're going to go open up the program you're going to need to download to your PC. And I don't think there's a Mac version of this program available. Uh, but it is required to do this program. Okay, I've got it all hooked up. The ESC programmer has three connections you need to make. <clears throat> Down here, I've got an ESC uh, 4S battery, and that is hooked up to the power right there, the power port. This is hooked up to the ESC port, which is on the ESC right there. 
Then I've got the last port is the USB port, which is connected to the computer on USB-C. Had to have that adapter for that to work. USB-A to USB-C down here. So that's all three connections. Next thing I'm going to have to do is bring up the program on the computer, connect a battery to the ESC right here, ESEC5, whatever that is, whatever that connector is, and uh, proceed to do some programming. Okay, with everything connected up, we're going to start this up. Yes, I've already done the upgrade, so this is going to come up and ask me if I want to do the firmware upgrade. And I, if I click on that, it's already done, so I can't upgrade it. But if I could upgrade it, you would click on this upgrade button right here. And then send settings to ESC and you'd be ready to go. But since I've already done that upgrade, I can just go over to my transmitter now or over to the uh, ESC programmer and set reverse thrust. If I want to use the ESC programmer to do this, one, it's important that you get to this screen <clears throat> and the polarity of this servo lead is very important for that. If it doesn't come up, just flip it over and that should do it. So if I want to program it, all I have to do is hit select, change brake type to reverse, go through the menus here, Brake force from 0 to 2. The rest of this doesn't really matter. Until you get to... this screen. And that will depend on which port you're using and channel you're using. And I'm using channel 8. Okay, to do this using the transmitter, first of all, we have to cycle the power on the ESC. Now, making sure that safe is turned off. Oops, wait a minute. First thing we're going to do is go over to Avian Programming. Making sure that safe is turned off so I get full travel. And now we do right aileron, elevator up. And there we are, we're in programming mode. So this is exactly the same menu that we saw on the programmer. Same order and everything. But to navigate this, we're going to use the elevator and aileron stick. So brake type, I've already set to reverse, disabled, normal, and proportion and reverse are the selections. Brake force, okay, using down elevator, can be set by default is zero, but my advice is to use two. Cutoff type, we don't mess with that. Lipo, cut off voltage. You can change any of these, but you don't often need to change these, if at all. Clockwise motor rotation, governor gain. Finally, 
thrust reverse on channel 8. And again, we can change that to different channels. The channel 8 is what I selected in uh, channel select menu. So now we're going to do exit down and right aileron to save. ESC reboots. Now let's see if it works or not. So we'll bring the camera back up here. Out the zoom. Okay. Back to the default page. Now let's see. Have a battery hooked up. Okay, we're gonna go throttle cut off. And we have thrust reverse that is working correctly okay so that's how you do it uh, a little bit of a bother we shouldn't really have to do this because after all we should probably have uh, an updated ESC in a brand new airplane particularly one this expensive but uh, at least I did manage to get a hold of an ESC programmer and learn how to use it so there's another skill but uh, she's all ready to go fly now. If I could just get some decent weather around here. Thanks for listening and have a great day.